Good morning. It is now Tuesday. Just got back from the gym. I uh, went with Mike. It's the first day back. Uh, I'm not gonna do or talk about it anymore because every t every single time that I talk about it, I end up like falling through because that's just, more than likely that's what's gonna happen this time. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna try to not let it happen, but I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna just try to make that happen. I'm definitely gonna try my hardest to to stay disciplined, but I just this is the last you'll hear of it because you know talking about it and talking and doing two different things. I'm gonna try to do my talk. I decided that I'm gonna make my own food today, for dinner at least. And by me, I mean I'm gonna make half of it, Jude's gonna make the rice. But uh, I got some chicken drums, so I'm gonna season them, put them in there, eat breakfast, and get the day started. We're gonna film the podcast right now, so expect one this Friday. It's gonna be good. Uh, as I was about to start seasoning the chicken uh, and let it marinate uh, until I get back, I figured that I would show you guys what I'm gonna do. It's the simplest thing ever, but I figured that you guys would want to know how I marinated since you guys liked uh, me telling you guys how to make the arrachera. All right, so it's simple, mustard and seasoning. I use a uh, Weber grill seasoning. Um, no particular reason, it's just the one I do. And what I do is, like yeah, it says for steak only. Huh. No, no, no. I'm gonna put this on, on whatever I want. You're gonna tell me. So, just pretty much spread the mustard, lots of it, right? Because we wanted to, to glue. So lots of mustard, spread it around evenly, okay? And don't add the seasoning yet. Okay, so flip the drums over, seasoning. Just completely cover it up. Because I'm gonna char this. I'm gonna char my drums. Headed to the scuff house now. There is a podcast that needs recording. You were gonna grab your camera and be like, "Look at Hitch." First off, for first off, first off. First, first off, <laughs> look at look at Hitch and his unproductive ass. All right. Well, well, well. First of all, <laughs> what happened this morning is that I came back from the gym with Mike, dropped him off. I see Hitch, and I'm like, "Yo, get the cameras ready. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm gonna come back, get the cameras yeah, ready." He said. Shit. He said, all right, I got it. What happened? What do you mean? Why weren't the cameras set up? The cam we're ready. I'm ready before the podcast is ready. Podcast is good. Where's the other guests? What are you doing? What, you're slacking, man. I literally don't have time to poop anymore. <laughs> that's, that's the type of grind I'm on. Seth, you are on zero grind. <laughs> yeah, you no. haven't done shit. Do you see this in my hand right now? Yeah, so? What does that mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? <laughs> He's not fucking working. Don't be mad that I'm King Vlog. Hit him with the 18 Dude, today. You can't keep 18 <laughs> minutes. You hit him with the 18 minute? 18 minute vlog. Okay. I hit him with the workout. Workout, night meals. Meals? What are meals? Meals. They got the meals, the workout, a little bit of music in there. Fucking laughs. Like usual. <laughs> like. I'm really working out here. I scrimmed. Yo, Seth. All right, so we just finished recording the podcast in which we say shit like, we're not going to have any audio issues, but this track, my track, when it's on the multi-track, it's, it's muted. But when I individually click on it, you can hear it. So, for example, <laughs> the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's been uh, a good two months since we last... Uh, Alright, so that's that's my voice there. Right? But if I go to to the individual one... Here we go. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> when was it? November, right? 
So there's, there's, there's obviously an audio discrepancy there between the level that you hear when it's in the multi-track, which is all the voices together, and then the one. So I don't know why, but it's muting that. It's pretty much what's happening. It mutes when I play all of the tracks together, but when you individually click on a track, it's loud and clear. So I don't know what the problem is, and it kind of annoys me. So after about half an hour to 45 minutes of me trying to figure out what the problem is with that track, I tried to figure it out on my own for 30 minutes. I sat here and I sat here and I was trying to figure out like what is going on. So I ended up uh, calling uh, my, my friend, quote, who is an engineer, an audio engineer uh, who's produced a lot of tracks for a lot of dope people. He himself is a rapper. You guys have seen me use his music. Um, so I ended up calling him and luckily he was at home and he was able to hop on and help me out. He ended up fixing it. So uh, you should expect a podcast this week on Friday on Optic Nation. The destination for all of your dream interpretation. I'm, I don't know where I was going with that. But you ready? Yeah, you coming? Where are you guys going? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to Mago. Why not? You can eat clean at Mago. No, you can't. Wait, What's are you problem? actually eating clean? That's why you don't yeah. want to go? You can get That's why, Mago. dude, I'm going. Eat. What do you think I'm going to eat? Yeah, but you fucking stay eating dirty and you're skinny. No, I don't. I'm want thicker to. than a motherfucking no, snicker. That's right. Huh? You can eat chicken and vegetables and mashed potatoes and mango. Cool. Let me show you how Fine, to let's go to Mago. Eat out really? and eat yeah, clean. but I'm driving myself because I gotta go home right now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I have to go to the gym Alright, dope. So we're going to Mago now. Uh, and the reason that Seth wants me to go to Mago is because he wants me to pay for it, but ha, tricks on him. He's paying for everyone. Broker than a joker. What are you, you going to get at Mago? I don't know. I gotta look at their menu. Because I really don't know. I'm getting the mole. Damn, man. What? What's it called? The skirt steak or something? Chihuahua steak? <laughs> yeah, why they call it the skirt steak? I don't know, because it is kind of skirt, uh, skirtish, but uh, the Chihuahua steak with that cheese, yes. that's the only reason you can't get it. It's got too much cheese. I gave up cheese. Oh, but that steak like massages your jaw. Shut the when... fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could see that. I was literally, the second you said that, my glance, <laughs> my glance just exploded. <laughs> the saliva just really went to come does. out and start like digesting something uh, good. Come on, man. Like, we're not going to make it, man. It's, all, it's, it's like day, day four into this thing and I'm already like savoring <laughs> steak. That's why this is, these are the days that count. You make it past these days, it's easy. You're not even going to want, that's, that stuff's going to be gross to you in two weeks. You just gotta force yourself. I hope so, man. I, I, I've almost thought about going to like a hypnotist and really? like to teach me to I like. Didn't, they wouldn't trick me. I'm like, no, oh, that's why I didn't go. Cause I'm like, I'm yeah. like, you. I wouldn't believe you're it. You're not gonna make me go crazy in my hey, own brain. Can I ask you a question? Yes. These guys like, like travel together so they can listen to music together full time. <laughs> Hitch, is that air freshener? All right, so now that the light's a little bit more favorable. Sometimes you gotta lose yourself to find yourself again. I lost myself all of last year. Let's get it. Now I found myself and he ain't gonna know. What the? I'm found. I was once lost, but now I am found. That's in the Bible. Y'all yeah, were spinning like... Versus. Yeah. Philippians. Tortillians. Knock, knock. Who's that? Fuck off, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> talking about how Casey Neistat started the trend of the bendy tripod, which is, you can't see, but it's here, that was done here, and then Nick said, I started this. What do you call it? What do you call that? it? Yeah, thank you. Uh, spider. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wait, you don't spider? That's Dude, this quality is ass cheeks. Yeah, right. What? Oh. Look, the Zamboni. Zamboni? Zamboni? Like you look like a damn phony. You the man, man, homie. Hey, Jack, hey, Jack <laughs> like to know me, but they don't really know me. How could they even know me? Whoa! All right, we just finished eating at Mago. Uh, Seth is like, Seth is gonna get coffee. I don't think I'm gonna join. Are you getting coffee? Yeah. Are you? Oh shit! I'm a cool guy. 
Watch out, don't awesome. get the Chuck Taylor's wet, boy. She. Whoa. Oh, shit. Yo, look at formless shoes, though. Oh, God. <laughs> Wearing them better than he ever did. Whoa. Formal, come back to the house if you want these pounds. Who the fuck are these kids? Formal. Do you, are you listening? Yes. Come get them. <laughs> We got a couple of boxes in the mail. This one's Jude's. I've already read it. This one's 1,000% mine. It says fragile, but I know that they're not fragile. If anything, these things are the opposite of fragile. Holy shit. It's like Christmas. Time out. It is Christmas. Holy shit. I just got super hooked up. Oh my god. Holy shit, I'm super psyched. I gotta be super careful. Okay, I, I cannot wait to get into these. I'm gonna show you guys what the. the Alright. Holy shit. I'm so hyped right now. It's like, it's like legitimately, I had Christmas again. What's sick and incredible about this, it's something that's super, super dear to my heart. And, and the reason I say that is because of the story, is because of the story that I told you a couple of months ago of my friend, of my friend Rob, who used to be the CEO of UMG, who's now known as Lonkers TV. So every single one of these rods, these seven rods are limited edition Lonkers TV favorite rods. Think about that, think about that. A year ago, my homie was, was working like any other tournament organizer, was a CEO of a company that runs leagues in Call of Duty, and then, you know, he, we've always gone fishing. Like, I've been fishing with him and, and, you know, for the longest. I fished with him for like two years, making videos with him for like two years before he himself started doing it. But a year ago, he started making his own thing and now he has his own rods. How freaking awesome is that? Man, all right, if you're watching, Rob, Pardon the embarrassment, I'm pretty sure you're blushing right now for me hyping you up like that, but you deserve it and uh, and I certainly deserve these rides. But more importantly, thank you very much for thinking of me uh, and sending me so many. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't know, I'll probably give the rest of them to my, the ones that I have now to my brother and keep these for me because, because they're your rods. Therefore, I'm gonna use these rods. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. And favorite rods USA, I also thank you for the, for the gift. Fucking insane. I mean, to sound super hypish about it, it's just that he's a really close friend of mine, and I know like how how he started, and I saw the whole thing progress. You know how when you you you, you find a YouTuber and the guy has already, like already has like X amount, and I know that I've done this several times, right? I I, I know that, that 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 I've seen this several times with my teammates, with uh you know with, with people that I know. I've seen them literally go from you know, beginning or, or, or starting their journey as a YouTuber to becoming a YouTuber and, and, and a successful YouTuber at that. So I've seen it before, but seeing it in, in, in an industry that's not gaming has made that, how do I explain it? Has made that much sweeter because I know that the, that the process works, right? If you go through, through a certain process, it works. And, and seeing Rob accomplish what he's accomplished this year, like just blows my mind. And, and, uh, and I'll say it again, and I'll never get tired of saying it. I'm super proud of my dude. Um, and yeah, thank you for the rods. So uh, it gave me an excuse to say good things about you, which is a cool thing. Anyway, uh, having said that, uh, I'm going to end the vlog right here. I think that it's good to end it on a very, very happy note. And in a positive message, uh, more than anything. Um, and yeah, having said that, and with that said, as the old middle of optic, start... Start talking. I'm going to read I'm going to read it to you. I'm in Discord now. Where are you guys at? Says Hutch. 
Inbound, says Diesel. Hutch says, inbound is one word, you fucking fool. And then Hutch says, just getting the toxicity out of the way now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... I love my team and my teammates. And I mean, all of them, right? Not, not just my, my, you know, the, the people that I see on a daily basis. I literally mean my squad of old men of optic. Um, everybody. Anyway, having said that, boys and girls, and with that said, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow as usual. And as per usual, at the same day.